darklings, it's Victoria Lovely here and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much guys for being here and thank you so much for all the support on my last video I feel honored, it feels awesome so with this video, before I start with this video I wanna as usual give a little reminder to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button because you don't want to miss all the new videos that is coming and that will make me very very happy so do that first and then we are gonna start with this video and as you guys can see here I am standing here with a naked face and you guys know what that means a naked face that means we are gonna do some magical things here we are gonna do makeup here and we are gonna do a, a makeup tutorial you guys know it's soon Halloween and how many of you are excited to ha as to Halloween as I am I am so excited so excited and I have a makeup that I really really want to do it which I'm gonna try out I haven't done this makeup before so it's gonna be new for me too so I was thinking of doing a little tutorial for this makeup and it's gonna be kind of like a kind of like a halloween makeup but it's gonna be like like with spider webs kind of like spider webs around my eyes and it's gonna have like vampire fangs you guys know i already have vampire fangs so this is gonna be kind of interesting so it's gonna be kind of like a detail makeup so I hope you guys are with me and I have here you see I just have foundation right now I put my foundation and you guys have the video in the description I put them in the description that I show you everything about my foundation routine so you should definitely check the video out because it shows everything how I get my face this pale so you wanna really wanna watch that video before if you haven't watched it already. So let's start it. So yeah, we are gonna start with putting away my bags, which always are in the way when you are gonna do some amazing makeup. So yeah. So I think what we are going to start with first is some shading because I think my face might need some shading. So we are going to start with that and I think I'm going to go for like a little bit for this one. I think it's going to work with kind of like a natural shading. Um, going to do that first. So I think I'm just going to go for like this color that's usually my everyday shading color. So there, we have a little shading, uh, so I'm gonna go to the highlighter right now. So I'm gonna use this highlighter, it's from Fall and Fire and it's also like my everyday use. There, the highlighter is on and we are gonna move on to the fun part here which is gonna be the eye makeup and the eye makeup is gonna go in like black a little bit silver and white and then I'm gonna draw the spider webs under my eyes so we are gonna start with because this makeup has a lot of like eyeliner but a lot of like black lines for the spider web. 
So I'm gonna start because I'm gonna start with to make those heavy eyeliner, which is gonna be like a cat eye look. So this is the one, my favorite eyeliner I'm gonna use. So that's gonna be the first step. So the eyeliner is taking shape. So I'm done with the eyeliner right now. It's gonna be much more lines, but for those lines, I prefer to use a really thin, like, nail art brush because I think it's easier to draw like the long lines they're gonna get smooth and it's easy to draw like those long lines which is gonna be for the spider webs than an eyeliner so I can highly recommend using something like this and I always wet the brush a little bit so I can easily draw the line because it can be easy that this thing can be a little bit thick Otherwise, we can, it needs to be diluted a little bit with water. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna start drawing the lines. So the lines is taking their shape. Next step, I am gonna move on to the spider web. And that's going to be the very, very fun part. So I'm going to start from here and start drawing them. So there I have the contour of the spider web. So now I'm gonna start drawing the details. I'm gonna still do this with this one. It's always easier for the long lines. Ooh, it's taking shape right now, wow. So what I'm gonna do, do 
I'm gonna make those lines a little bit thicker and for that I prefer to use a regular eyeliner because now when I have a contour then I can just fill them in with the eyeliner. Now so much better and under in the eyelid waterline is supposed to be a red eyeliner under my eyes. So I'm gonna apply that now. I was supposed to do that before I draw on the spider web because I'm gonna need to pull down my eyes a little bit so I'm still hoping I'm not gonna mess this. So I'm gonna use this one from NYX to draw a red on the waterline. I hope I can do this without messing this up too much. Ah, like that, it worked, luckily. Now I am gonna finally move on to the eyeshadow because it's still as you can see it still needs some shading it looks a little bit plain just like this so for the eyeshadow i'm gonna use this one my favorite eyeshadow palette from jeffree star and this one have all the eyeshadows i need which their shades is gonna go from black gray to white and this one is Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. Have all the shades I need, all the eyeshadows I need. So this one I'm gonna use because it goes all the way from black to white. So this is gonna be perfect for this. So I'm gonna start with black from the corner here. And then I'm gonna shade it out. So goes from grey to white so there I need to shade it a little bit like that and it's also going to be black here so i'm going to use the same black for that and shade here not too much though that and now from the black I'm gonna use like a little like gray gray is gonna have a little bit shimmer so I'm gonna try maybe with this one might work so I can fade to this um, because it's supposed to be a little bit shimmer here also it has to have a little shimmer and glitter. I can have a bit too much of that. So yeah. Um, I'm also gonna try a little bit of this one. I love this one so much. I need to add a little bit more shimmer. I can have a bit too much of that. From here. Oh, yeah. Like that. 
and then i'm gonna go just in the corner here i'm gonna go with the white shimmer this one is gonna be perfect for that yeah i think so like that yeah nice Yay. so i'm gonna do the same thing here under my eyes it's gonna go from black to gray to white so it's gonna be the same thing here now it's gonna be the tricky part so still those spider webs still can pop under those colors so yeah we are gonna go i think i'm gonna maybe a little bit lighter gray I'm gonna go with this one, not too dark, because it's gonna be the kind of disappear otherwise. Can't be too dark, because otherwise it's gonna disappear. And then I'm gonna go on with the white. To um, the white shimmer here, so it really have the nice fade here. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. They look so cool. I love this. I might have to go a little bit and fill it in later with, with the eyeliner to make the spider even more black because it has to be contrast it has to Ooh, voila look at that yeah I, um the eye makeup is kind of done wow what do you guys think Ooh. So we are gonna move on to the eyebrows and for the eyebrows I'm gonna draw my regular one with those, the thin ones and so let's continue So there and eyebrows is on and the next step in this makeup is going to be a little like line details so it's going to come from here start here and go all the way up to the eyebrows so i'm gonna draw that line and then it's gonna have a little bit of eyeshadow too to connect my eyebrows with the rest of the makeup so let's see how that is gonna go I think for this one I'm gonna use the regular eyeliner for the lines. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be something like this. That is gonna be a little bit thicker. That's why I choose to use this eyeliner instead of the other one. It's a little bit blacker here. 
connect that. So it's gonna be something like this. Um, um, a little bit of black eyeshadow here next to the line. So I'm gonna use the same one here, the black one. Let's see how this is gonna look like, I don't know. Something like that. So yeah, it's something like this. Ooh, tada! Wow. Ooh, the eyebrow did everything to this look. Now I just missing uh, eyelashes, and after that, I'm gonna move on to the lip. It's gonna be interesting. And there is complete with eyelashes. Wow. So we are going to move on to the lips. And the lips is going to have two colors. So it's going to be like black. Upper lip is going to be black and the under lip is going to be red. And it's going to have two kind of like I'm gonna draw two vampire fangs here too. So I have never done that before. So it's gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna start with lip liner. And I have two a black and a red one. The red one is from NYX. And the black one is from MAC. So uh, let's start. So I'm going to start with the upper lip, which is going to be black. So as you see, I'm drawing the lips a little bit pointy here. It goes out a little bit. So, yeah. And now I am gonna move on with the red. So there I have a contour for the lips. For the lips, I'm gonna use those color. It's from my own brand, Loveless Cosmetics, and I think this is gonna work perfect. So this is the red one I'm gonna use for my under lips, which is crimson. And the black one for my upper lip, which is Raven. So let's start. So I think I'm gonna start with the black. Oh, there is the black. 
and I am gonna let it dry a little bit before I move on with the red. So now I start applying the red. And yeah, that's always the problem with two colors. Uh, have patience, have patience to let it dry. And when it has dried, I am gonna paint the fangs. So, yeah. oh, now the last thing before this makeup is done is to draw the fangs and it's gonna be two fangs here um, and for those I'm gonna draw then use Kat Von D's um, concealer in white out so I'm gonna draw with them uh, and a brush so let's see how this is gonna go It's a little tricky actually. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It's done. Whoa. Oh, it took some time, but this makeup is done. Well, I am not completely done, because look at my hair. I need accessories, I need some nice hair, hairstyle, because this is, looks terrible. So, ooh, what do you guys think? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It actually came out very good. Oh. So, yeah, let's move on to the next step of this look, which is complete everything. Because makeup is not everything, right? So, and voila, look. Yeah, I am ready and the makeup is done and everything is done. I just love this makeup. Oh my god. <sighs> I actually love how it came out. It's so nice. Ooh. So, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit tricky sometimes. A lot of details, but it ended up pretty good actually so yeah this is how it looks like and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more videos like this and if you like this video you should definitely give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and of course subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video bye